I'm here to talk about forecasting in a simple fashion with Excel. You have these four items that you're going to be selling. You know you could sell each product with a certain amount here. and But you're having a growth of, let's say, three and a quarter percent a year. But if you put in 100,000, you know it's going to go over 600,000. Do you put in 91,000, 82,000? I usually start off with a basic number here. And I'm going to say 82,000. I put that in. Now, I want to go into August, so I know I have to add three and a quarter percent to this. By doing it this way, we can change different forecasts. So I begin the formula. This plus this times, of course, the three and a quarter percent. Since it only appears once, we're going to make it a constant. We hit the F4 key. On a Mac, it would be Command T. So we have that. We're going to drag this over. I want to add these numbers up. I'm going to add a column. These numbers are just typed in. You want calculations. So I'm going to insert a column, and I'll just say calculated total. And we all know the equal sum. I held down Alt equal. It goes all the way to the left. So it's giving me 533,000. I want to get 600,000. I'm going on Shark Tank. And I want to make sure everything adds up for all the sharks. So what I need to do now, I want to change this total here using a what if analysis. Goal seek. So I click in the cell where I want it to be. Now I'm going to type in 600,000. By changing the first cell, the 82,000, I'm going to say I'm going to, I can sell 82,000. So I'm starting off selling 92,000. I might say that's good, that might not be good. I might want to change it to something else. I'm going to do another example in the next row here. So I want to get 450,000, and I'm going to start off with 20, I'm sorry, I'll start off with 34,000. I know it's off, but that is okay. So to do the growth again, equal this plus this times this, make it a constant. Drag it over to the right. Pull the total down here. I know this is not going to be anywhere near. 221,000. I was really off. But again, I go into the what if analysis. Goal seek. I want to set this cell to 450,000. By changing that first cell, I say, okay, it gives me a preview. It says you're going to get 69,000 here. I could say, okay, or I could cancel. I like that. So I've got that total here. And then what I could do, I could just delete this column here, put in my totals in here. Last thing I want to show you, a nifty little trick. I have this in here. I'm presenting this to the board or the sharks or whomever. I want to move this to another page. Watch this. I'm going to add a new sheet and I'll call it assumptions. I go back into here. I cut. Don't copy, paste, and delete. Cut. Go into here. Hit the enter key. I could zoom this up a little bit. Widen the column if I need to. So I've got that. Go back into here. Now if we take a look inside the formula, it's going to say B2 plus B2 times the assumption sheet that cell there. And if I were to change numbers here, like that 3.25, I think that might be a little high. I could change that to 2.8%. I go back into here. The numbers are going to be different. But these could be the projections that I'm giving the sharks. I'm doing some fine-tuning. 
I might say I'm going to start off with 85,000 units sold and then I could say maybe 50,000 of widget 2. So I'm getting new numbers but if I want to give them some rounded numbers I want to just say five, and you have to do these separately you can't copy it down. I want to change this calculated total here. I want to say 550,000 so what I will do at this point I again go into what if analysis goal seek make it 550,000 by changing this cell here so I'm saying that I got the round numbers that some people like looking at or if I don't like it I'm gonna go back to the original and say wait a minute I can't do it I'll just leave it at that accurate number there of 547061 and you have this sheet here last thing here you don't want somebody sneaking you right click inside here you hide the sheet they won't know but anybody with a little bit of experience will just right click here and they can click on unhide shows the sheet okay you can protect the sheet also or if you're doing something here I would say either print just give them a printout a fax or better yet make it into a PDF where they can't alter the numbers